Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the media management side of WordPress. Uh, a lot has changed in the WordPress 3.9 update as far as media management and how all that works. So we're going to demo uploading files to WordPress, uh, playlists, galleries for images, videos, all that good stuff. So to start off, let's say you have a page that you want to insert some media on. A good way to do that, uh, you can either click the basic add media page, which brings up the um, upload files dialog. Um, or you can uh, actually just drag and drop files into your browser. Now if you have the latest version browser, Chrome or Firefox, this should work. If not, do click the Add Media and try dragging them into here. You'll get the blue screen. Or um, you can always do the original select files to upload. We do have some example files here on the desktop. Um, we're going to go ahead and try uploading those. I'm going to do the drag and drop because I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to choose to upload a uh, Word document. Let's say I have a document I want to put on the website. Now I'm going to drag and drop this here and notice it's going to do nothing. Hmm. Let's try again. Notice it's going to do a little upload here for my example Word document. Now these are some files we already had in here from another tutorial video but it, it went ahead and uploaded, the, uploaded this for me and I can just click insert into page and I have some text for example Word. Now I can actually click inside this text and modify this, test, test, blah blah blah. I choose to not do that. I'm going to say, um, I'm, I am going to say click the download. I'm going to put that in parentheses. Um, if you want to edit outside this, you'll just have to click outside and hit space and then you'll see the cursor turn black. I'm going to hit backspace so you can see the cursor is green. And if I hit space, the cursor turns black, and then my text is black. Now it's not part of the link, versus this click to download is a part of the link, which you can see when I hover over it, it changes color slightly. Now, if I update this and go to the page, what I'm going to see is I'm going to see this click to download. Now if I click this, it's going to give me an option to download it. I recommend, and most web professionals recommend not um, uploading Word documents or PowerPoints or Excel files to the web. We recommend uploading PDFs to the web because everyone has Adobe Acrobat Reader. Um, al almost all browsers nowadays will actually open it in the browser. And uh, if you upload a PDF, you don't have to worry about whether the person has Office and whether they can open it and that kind of thing. So how to do that? We're actually going to demo that really quick. I'm going to Alt-Tab to Word, and I'm going to go ahead and open this example Word document. Now, unfortunately, it jumped off my screen here but I can shrink this a little bit. Here we have this is a random example of Word document I got off the web. How do I save this to PDF for my blog? Well, I'm going to click the Save As dialog, um, which is not on screen, but it's just File, Save As. Um, and I'm going to actually choose the format rather than being Word. I'm going to choose PDF. Um, almost all versions of Word have this option nowadays, so you can just choose PDF. I'm going to actually say in PDF PDF. And I'm going to choose save. Now on my desktop I have this PDF file. That's the example Word document in PDF. Now when I drag this into the web browser, it's going to go ahead and upload it. And I can click insert into file, insert into page rather. Now I didn't, I, my cursor was at the end of this, so it just kind of put it where my cursor was. I actually don't want it there, so I'm going to hit enter to put it on a new line or return. And um, example Word PDF is actually the one we uploaded. It put that before the other one because that's where my cursor was, was at the very beginning of the document. So I'm going to hit update. And notice when I refresh my page now, I have the original, which asked me to download a Word document, but I also have the PDF version, which uh, gives me directly in the browser, I can view the document, and everything is great. So that's a lot better because also people can't edit the document. Um, you can choose not to not even allow them to print it if it's sensitive material. You can do all that with Adobe Acrobat. Um, what about PowerPoint? I don't know if I closed this or not. I did. So PowerPoint, um, let's say you want to export your slides. This is another random PowerPoint I grabbed offline. Um, if you just upload a PowerPoint file, let me demo that. Upload, I can hit insert into page. By the way, um, the media library is everything you've ever uploaded to your blog. Um, 
when you drag something in, it's just going to put it right here at the beginning. Um, the options over here, obviously, are pretty self-explanatory. Title, you can put a caption on it if you want it to have a caption on the page, or a description if you want to have a description of it. Um, the attachments display settings, link to, you can either have it linked to an attachments page, but you probably want it to link to the media file directly. That way, when they click on it, it, um, it actually links them directly to the PowerPoint. So you definitely want media file there. Insert into page just puts it right in the page right there at the beginning. Again, I don't want it there, so I'm actually going to grab my example PowerPoint, do a cut. I'm going to hit return, so I have a new line. I'm going to hit paste, and I'm going to hit update. Now again, PowerPoint, it asked me to download the PowerPoint file. I don't want that. Um, let's say you do have a PowerPoint that has visuals, it has audio, it's got overlay. The best way to export it would be to go, again, File, Save As. Well, I hit Save. File, Save As. And then if you want, if it does have, if, if it has to be an actual PowerPoint show that they can view, um, a do PDF. PowerPoint show. Let's say you want to save this as a PDF. Let me do this. Now let's say you want to save this as a PDF rather than a PowerPoint show. Let's say it's just um, basic text like this and you want them to be able to view it. But you want, what if they don't have PowerPoint? You can go to File, Save As, and just like you did in Word or Excel, you can just choose PDF. Choose Save. Next, uh, you have an example PowerPoint on your desktop. PDF, right here. Example PowerPoint, and it gives you all the slides in PowerPoint format. So then you can just go back to your page, drag and drop, insert into page, and you have an example PowerPoint. Now, I'm going to refresh my page here, and now I have an example PowerPoint at the top that's a PDF that people can view and easily see. So definitely do PDF, that's the best way to go with any kind of document. You don't have to rely on people um, having the software, and um, you get a universal format that everybody can read. Uh, what about audio and video? I'm going to go ahead and hit return, and then I'm going to I want to do a song on my blog or a podcast. I'm going to drag and drop that MP3 file. It's going to go ahead and upload it for me. Now, notice this time it already grabbed the title and description from the metadata on the file. This is a song called "Old Drummy, Lo Old Drummy Lord." And the embed link, um, it has a link to the actual media file if you want them to download the MP3. Or you can do the embedded media player. WordPress now has an embedded media player, which if you update that and go to the, well, go to the media page, refresh the media page, you'll have an embedded media player. Loads it and starts playing. You can skip around. You can adjust the volume. That's all there is to it. Built right into WordPress. It's really pretty neat. Let's say you want to do a video file. Here's an example of a video file from Studio 4109, a remake of um, the song Wake Me Up by Avicii. Um, let's try dragging that, dropping that in. Now, uh, if you have unlimited space, this is about a 50, uh, 50 meg file, I believe. Um, if you have unlimited space, you can just go ahead and upload that to your blog. It's about 60 megs. Um, if you don't have a limited space, I recommend uploading to YouTube, and we'll show how to put a YouTube video in here in a second. Uh, we may actually have MIME types disabled to not allow video uploading to this server, just for space, because this is not an unlimited space blog. Um, if they do have video disabled, we won't be able to upload it. Yeah. So it won't let me upload the video file, but it, it, if you could upload a video, it would have the embedded player just like it would on the um, audio, and you could do it that way. Notice um, when it's uploading, it has the same embedded media player. I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel this upload. I actually don't see a good way to cancel it, so I'm just going to let it go, do its thing. Um, so it, let's say that you want to actually upload a video file, but you don't have a ton of space for videos on your blog. Well, when you upload it to YouTube, and, it, and there's all kinds of tutorials on how to do that, but once you've got it uploaded to YouTube, it's it's very, very straightforward. Um, here's the link to that same file on YouTube, um, that same video file. I'm going to go ahead and grab, all I do is I go up here to the, to the video URL, which if you go to the share, it's this, um, this URL right here. I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to go back to my page, 
again, dismiss the error. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that URL. Notice, all we see here is plain text URL of the video, but WordPress knows that it's a video from YouTube. It embeds the player automatically. You can click play, and now the video is playing directly from your website. You can do that with any YouTube video out there, and we recommend that as the best way to upload videos to your WordPress portfolio or blog. What about music, like playlists and, and images? I have an image here on the desktop. I have a gallery of, of wave images. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this random image in here. It's going to upload it for me. Um, I can choose whether to center it, to left, right, etc. I'm going to just say none because I don't really care how it's aligned. And I'm going to choose the size to be um, full sized. Insert into page. Let's see what that looks like. I think it's going to downsize it for me to the, the maximum width of the page. Refresh our page. Yeah, it 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 only allows you to have the width of the of the image be as as large as the width of the page. So it did go ahead and downsize it for me, but the uh, the initial size of the video was um, or of the image was much larger than this. And if I actually click on it, it does take me to the full sized image. And the way that we knew that is when I clicked um, Add Media, when I clicked uh, on the image to insert, the link to was the media file itself. Now, if you have an image that you don't, obviously, you don't want every image to be um, linked to itself. You, some, some you just want to be an image, so you can hit None and hit Insert into Page. And now it's in there twice, it's up here. Um, and it's, uh, when we update and refresh, it's going to have, it's going to be back up at the top here. interesting it's actually a part of the it grabbed the PowerPoint file since it was sitting right next to it it thought it was a part of the link so I'm actually going to delete that come down here and do it correctly hit return and I'm going to put it right here add media click on the waves media file none insert into page update now if I refresh the page back down here at the bottom I have one that I can click on and one that I can't. Notice how the hand, not nah, I can't do anything with this, but I can click on that. So that's the difference between media file. By default, all images are linked to the media file, so if you don't want an image to be linked to the media file, just choose none under the link to settings. What if I want to change that afterwards though? Do I have to reinsert it? Not necessarily. You can actually come here, click on the image, and there's an option to remove it, which is the X, or you can edit it, which is the pencil. Right now it's linked to media file, but I can actually choose none, which is pretty nice. So I can actually edit this. I can choose to do a medium if I want. And I can modify the image right from within the page without having to reinsert it. And now it's not linked to anything and it's smaller, just like we told it. So that's how images work. What about a gallery? So to insert a gallery, I'm just going to go back to my add media. But over here on the side, rather, to, rather than looking at my media library, I see we have a create gallery button. I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose to um, select some files. Now I have this folder gallery of images. I'm just going to select all, do Command A on a Mac or Control A on a Windows, or you can do just select random ones holding Alt on Windows and Shift, or rather Command on Mac. I'm going to choose all of them and hit Open. It's going to upload all these and oh, I already have some images I've already uploaded. What if I want those? I can just click on them and they're included as well. Notice down here at the bottom we have seven selected. The more I click on, the more we get. It grabbed the album art from that one song too, that's pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit create new gallery. Do I want to caption them? Hello. This is awesome. Now, where do I want them to link to? If I click on them, I can either have it linked to an attachments page, and I'll do that so I can show you what the attachments page is like. Do I want to have three across or four, five, six, seven, eight? I, if you have a ton, you might want four or five across. I'm going to choose three. I'm going to say insert gallery. And I'm going to hit update and see what that looks like. Now, built right into WordPress, I have this awesome gallery that if I hover over them, I can see the, um, the things I've said. This is awesome. Hello. Just by hovering over them. I don't even have to click on anything. If I do click on one, it gives me the... Um, 
the page for uh, attachments. I can click next image directly from here, previous image, and view all the images that way. So that's the advantage of an attachments page, and that's how galleries work in WordPress. What about um, audio playlists? This is something I think is pretty cool in WordPress. Um, they have built in a playlist option. I'm going to say create audio playlists on the left here under create gallery. And I'm going to upload some files. I'm going to go to my desktop, my songs for playlist, and grab a few songs here. It's going to go ahead and upload these over here on the right. Grabs the metadata for them automatically. And then they're selected, three selected down here. Create a new playlist. Has the uh, names of them down here already. Um, what do you want to show? The show track list, show the artist name in the track list, and show the images. Yeah, I want it to do all that. So I'm going to insert an audio playlist and hit update and see what that looks like. Now down here, I actually have this beautiful, I mean, this is as, as streamlined as it gets, this audio playlist. I can adjust, t jump around. I can click different songs. It, can, it just starts playing them off of my WordPress blog. This isn't hosted by SoundHound or, or SoundCloud or anything like that. This is hosted right on your WordPress blog, built into WordPress. So it's pretty neat. Um, and that is how media management is handled in the latest version of WordPress 3.9. Um, thanks for watching.